Windows 7 and Deployment Image Servicing and Management lets you manage system images end-to-end. -end. Features, packages, and drivers can be viewed and modified offline throughout the production lifecycle of the operating system. This screencast shows you more. We made a lot of improvements to operating system imaging and deployment for Windows Vista. In doing so, we introduced tools to create non-destructive file-based images, manage images offline, and consolidate the unattended installation process. We also provided tools for more sophisticated scenarios, like task sequenced deployment in Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, and automatic user file and setting migration via the user state migration tool. For Windows 7, we listened to our customers and updated many of our tools to make deployment even better. Let's take a look at our new imaging and migration tools for a couple of minutes. In Windows Vista, we provided a lot of tools via the Windows Automated Installation Kit, or WAKE. For Windows 7, we consolidated functionality of several tools so you can manage your images throughout the operating system lifecycle using the Deployment Image Servicing and Management Tool, or DISM. With DISM, we can manage Windows images and now also virtual hard disk files, or VHD files. Let's get started by showing DISM and the controls available. These are the major servicing points you'll need to service and maintain your images. Now, we'll mount a WIM file using DISM. We heard from a lot of customers that they modify their images and often forget to commit or discard the changes. With DISM, the user is prompted to commit or discard the image automatically before you can mount it. Now, I'm going to mount a VHD file so that later I can show you the same commands work on WIM files and also VHD files. Once the image is finished mounting, the first thing we'll do is see what packages, out-of-box device drivers, and features are contained in the image. The enumeration feature is new to Windows 7. First, let's see what packages are installed in the image. These can be language packs, patches, utilities, and so on. Now, let's see the features of the image. With DISM, we can do things like disable games or other features via installation commands. And next, let's take a look at the out-of-box device drivers on this image. Driver management is brand new with DISM in Windows 7. And while we could inject device drivers offline in Windows Vista, the features were limited compared to what we can do with packages. Now, we can add a driver to our image. I'm going to add a Bluetooth function driver as a sample out-of-box device driver. Let's enumerate the drivers again to confirm our new device driver is added. Now we'll see that the device driver was added and the name was changed to avoid naming conflicts to OEM1. So before we could inject drivers but not remove them from the image. I like to make sure I always have the latest Bluetooth function driver installed. So I can now remove the driver to prepare for a newer version. Now let's confirm the driver is removed. Gone. I can add the latest and greatest Bluetooth driver now. The key points to remember here are that all of the major things you were doing to manage your images can be done within DISM. All of these functions are also supported on Windows 7 based VHDs. This is command line scriptable, so we can expect to see a lot of deployment and systems management offerings taking advantage of these features. 
One last thing to mention is that if you have existing deployment tools using current versions of the WIC in Package Manager, those commands are still supported, so you won't need to re-engineer your Windows Vista deployment automation.